Okay, sometimes it's better to think of electromagnetic waves like light, gamma, and UV as particles instead. We call these particles photons. So a photon is a quantized packet of electromagnetic energy. So the word quantized means discrete, or it comes in chunks. It's the opposite of continuous. The energy of a photon can be determined using this equation. Now E here stands for energy measured in joules, H is Planck's constant, and uh, F is frequency in Hertz. So sometimes you don't have the frequency, instead you have, you've got speed and wavelength, in which case I can write this equation here, where speed is equal to wavelength times frequency from the waves topic. And in fact, I'm gonna rearrange this to make the F the subject, and I'm gonna put this in here to get this useful equation here. Okay, this question asks me to calculate the energy of a photon with a wavelength of 350 nanometers. Uh, Planck's constant are given and the speed of light is given. So here's the equation we're going to use. We're going to use the one with the wavelength in it. Okay, so if I use that, so I'm going to do Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second. Divide that by the wavelength, 350 times 10 to the minus 9 to turn that into meters, and that gives me 5.68 times into the power of minus 19 joules. Okay, there's a very small uh, amount of energy there in joules. It's probably better to turn that into electron volts. So I'm going to divide that by 1.6 times into the power of minus 19 to turn it into electron volts, and that gives me 3.55 electron volts. It's a bit easier to work with.